Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek Cupboard, I am Penge and welcome to Anvil Saga, which is a part management, part role playing game where we take on the role of a blacksmith in ye olde medieval times. So we'll be smelting and forging and hitting metal with hammers and doing other very important things that blacksmiths get up to, we then get paid for our efforts and then we can expand our little shop because we have our own little blacksmith shop and then we can add extra bits onto it so we could buy, you know, a storeroom so we can store more stuff or we could buy ourselves a bedroom and then we can have more employees and all that that kind of stuff. Plus, there are some nice choose your own adventure story type elements as well. And it's all in this nice pixel art style. It does look very lovely indeed. So this is actually the demo of Anvil Saga, which is going to be part of Steam's Next Fest Games Festival, which runs from June the 16th through to June the 22nd. So you can get your hands on this very demo here as part of the Next Fest Games Festival if you would like to. And of course, there is a link to the Steam store page in the video description below. So you can go check it out and wishlist it if you would like to. And we were given a key by the public Publishers, so we could play this just a little bit early, which is wonderful. So thank you publishers, that's very kind of you indeed. But anyhow, let's get on with it, shall we? Let's dive in and get blacksmithing. So here we go, and it looks like we've come out on market day. It looks like we're trying to play our trade on market day because there are all these nice sort of covered stores, but it does look pretty, it does look very nice. So there we go, so this is father with his wonderful red nose. So I assume that's father, and I'm guessing that that is us just there with the kind of very healthy orange glow there. I'm guessing that's us. So father is saying, that's it, hold the hammer tight, swing your arm up and strike the blank. Okie doke, will do. Son, which I guess is us. I can't. Okay, <laughs> maybe we won't do. I'll never become a master like you. Not with that attitude, you won't, son. Listen, when your mother and I came to France, we didn't have a single penny on us. Nothing but fire in the eyes and my old instruments. So yes, this game is set in France. I believe, if I read correctly on the Steam Store page, it actually takes place during the Hundred Years' War, which was a series of battles between England and France. I don't know when. I'm not entirely sure when. At some point in the oldie medieval times. But uh, yeah, I think Agincourt. I think the Battle of Agincourt was part of the Hundred Years' War. But whatever the case, enough history lesson. There we go. Okay, Dad. Really? Not a single penny. Not more than a couple of thalers, to be sure. Okay, I don't know what that is. Maybe some sort of medieval currency or something. I do not know. Uh, this is Arthur, the hero of this story and your main character. Oh, there's a narrator. Okay, we've got a narrator with a nice sort of quill and a book and stuff. Okay, so there we go. We're playing as Arthur. Okie doke. Since childhood, he's been helping his father in the forge, but he's pretty good in any kind of craft. Okay, that's good. Uh, control the camera. Yep, okay, there we go. Can move the camera, can zoom in and out. Wonderful stuff. Thank you, tutorial land. Arthur, my son, make some ingots at the smelter. We have a lot of work today. Okie dokie, will do. To complete orders, you'll need ingots. Ingots are smelted out of ore. Okay, so this looks like what we've got on us. So we seem to have six bits of ore. We have ten ingots. We have, we have no wood, we have no money, and what's that popularity? We have no popularity. <laughs> uh, it's going well then, it's going well then, Dad. Got no money and we're not popular at all. Okay, right, you are. Ingots are smelted out of ore. Okay, makes sense. So what do we need to do? Right click on the smelter so Arthur starts making ingots. Okay, right, so we're going to go over to here and we're going to do some smelting. There we go, some smelting or forging or whatever it is we're doing. And there we go, we're turning ore into useful ingots. Okay, we just sort of sit and patiently wait for you to do all that kind of stuff. There we go, we've made three of them. One piece of ore is usually good for one ingot. The smith will smelt ingots, one after the other, until they run out of ore. So it doesn't look like we sort of smelt specific things. We don't smelt, you know, copper or iron or whatever. We just smelt some metal to turn it into ingots of metal. Okie doke, right, that's absolutely fine. Excellent work, son. Go flip the sign. We're opening. Uh, where is the sign? Just there, is that it? Dad, you're next to the sign. <laughs> Could you not just turn around and do it? Okay, fine, I'll do it. See that one heading our way? No. Should I see somebody heading our way? Is there somebody heading our way? Ah, this person here with the wonderful hat that might possibly be slightly too big for them. Take their order. I'll see how you do it. Oh, okay, hello there. Right, so the narrator is saying your first customer. Take a look at the order window. There you'll find the item, the resources needed for its creation and the reward. Um, okay, hang on. Do we press continue? There we go. Right, so this customer here is saying, I would like some, I should know, like nails or something. Look like nails. So I would like some nails. That will cost us three ingots to actually get done. That's fine. And they will pay us nine monies. I mean, that's that seems like a vast amount of wealth compared to our entirely no monies right now. So yes, green check mark. Okie doke. People won't wait forever. They'll leave if their patience runs out before the order is complete. 
Okay, so if the customer leaves, you won't receive the money nor lose the resources. However, the customer might lose respect for your workshop and tell others about that as well. Okay, so we have a timer and if we don't do it in time, they'll go away in a huff and then tell everyone that we're rubbish. Okay, right, message understood. Right click on the anvil to move the character there and start forging. Okie doke, right here we go. And we're forging and there we go. Look, we're hitting things with hammers. You know, that's classical blacksmith fare right there. Hit to hit. He has a green smiley face and he goes away. And we've made nine lovely monies. Well done, son. Thank you. Look, it's Finley. His whole family comes to the fair every year. Where, where are these people coming from? Oh, okay, right. We can go all the way over here. There's Finley. Hello, Finley. The young lady next to him is his daughter, Olivia. Is it the merchant from Gascony? Yes. Judging by looking his face. Oh, okay. I, I never found out what father said there. Okay. Oscar, you are here too. That's very astute of you. He, he is just there. Well done. Well spotted. How are you faring? Thanks for the instruments. And the harness is also perfect. Glad to see you at the fair. What brings you here, Finley? I'd like to order a small trinket, a brooch for my beloved daughter. Do this for me, would you? Okay, we can probably do this. So it's a piece of cake, right? So you've got this. Okay, so we're going to make ourselves... That looks quite fancy. That looks very fancy and ornate. Look at that. There's all sorts of sort of flowery, twiddly bits on it. It's going to cost three ingots. That's fine. And we're going to get paid six money. Didn't we get paid... Hang on. We got paid nine money for making a load of nails. <laughs> That's just... They were just a load of nails. Yet this thing is seemingly very ornate that seems very ornate and it's got a shiny in it and we're getting paid six monies for this i have a feeling that maybe we need to work on our catalog dad but okay yes we'll say yes sometimes you have to make a choice that will affect events further in the story you'll see one of them now ah okay right so we're going to get to sort of you know choose your own adventure type stuff each option has a chance of success and failure study them carefully you won't be able to go back on your choice okay so the merchant ordered a brooch for his beautiful daughter. My father bought a jewel for the Baron's ring with him. I could probably use it. Hang on, what? That sounds like a terrible idea. Hang on. My father bought a jewel for the Baron's ring. We want to... Hang on. So one of our options is use the jewel from the Baron's ring. I assume the Baron is, you know, important, given that he's a Baron and such. So use a jewel that's not ours to use to put it into this brooch for this girl. Okay. Right, so Olivia will certainly notice me. There is an 80% chance of success for that decision. Um, I don't know if that seems wise. It might seem a sensible idea to, yeah, just make the brooch. It would be stupid of me to use the Baron's Jewel for decorating the brooch. I'll make a simple one. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of thinking this. Because then the Baron's going to turn up at some point and he's not going to be very impressed that he's, you know, his jewel has gone missing. Or use a fake jewel. That's down to 50% chance of success. A little trick will come in handy. I won't have to face the Baron's anger while adding something a little extra to the brooch may please Olivia and her father. And there are some sort of faces down here. Um, ah, okay, right. So the actual sort of uh, tool tip rollover text there is not translated yet. That's fine. Yeah, it's a demo version. That's what we sort of expect. Um, so I don't know what's going on there, but there's, okay, confused face on that one. Then there's, okay, that's good for dad. And that's good for impressing Olivia. We're going to go down here. Let's make a simple brooch. Let's do it nice and simple. There we go. Um, oh, hang on. Yep. Let, let me just go and do the hitting with the hammer. Look at that. Yep. Very, very good at this. Hitty with hammer. Hitty with hammer. One final hit. There we go. Dad, it's all done. Here. Good lad. Here. It's all done. It's lovely, isn't it? Let me see. The work is absolutely stunning. Look, says the merchant. My God, what a marvel. Thank you so much, Dad. Look at the way it glitters in the sun. I know, I know. I, I don't want to boast, but it is brilliant, isn't it? Wow, my friend, I'm impressed. Here, I'll gladly pay you extra. You better be ready. I'll tell everyone about your amazing skills. Okay. And... Oh, here's the Baron. The Baron's just rocked up. Okay, so there's the Baron with a kind of, like, a guard or something. What's that? Or like a tax collector or something? They've got a scroll in front of them. Uh, hello, blacksmith. Still working hard. Uh, yes, the Baron does look quite cross. He looks like an angry sort of chap. He's sort of got his raised fist, like he's sort of going, blacksmith. Um, okay, I mean, we still have his jewel thing, which is quite nice. Um, yes, more or less. My son's helping out a lot. He's even much better at me than some things now. <laughs> really? <laughs> ah, he really looks like you. Now then, will you make me a ring? Uh, yes, okay. Good thing I didn't use the jewel. This Baron can certainly be a pain in the neck. So tell the Baron that we've lost the jewel. Okay, well, we haven't. That's going to make him 
seemingly furious. Again, I don't know what that says, but he looks cross. So let's not do that. Make a jewel encrusted ring for the Baron. 80% chance of success. Hang on, what's that one? That's just no chance of success. That just happens. This is an 80% chance of success. No matter what kind of person this Baron is, I will do my work diligently so that I won't have to apologize to anyone. I mean, this seems the right thing to do. It's his jewel. He's kind of come here and he's bought it to us and he wants it to be put into a ring. We should just do that because it's our job. That's what we do. I mean, I'm only an apprentice. I shouldn't you know, step on too many toes. So um, yeah, okay, or use a fake jewel. There is a 30% chance of success. But then that might, and that's going to annoy, is that dad? Yeah, that's going to annoy dad and we might get money. Yeah, we're going to get 50 money because I guess we then sell the jewel afterwards. Um, no, let's do it properly. Let's do the job properly. Let's go for that. So make a ring with a gem, it says up there. Okay, back we go. Hit a T hit, lots of hitting happening. I think we've still got enough ingots, haven't we? So just do some more hitting. Hopefully this succeeds and boom. Oh, is it really done? Yes, it is. It's ready, sir. Here. Oh, wow. Not bad. Good work. You're a chip off the old block. Good lad. Ah, oh, thank you. Thanks. It's great to have your work appreciated. Sure it is. Have a good day and a great time at the fair. Okay. Oh, we're at a fair. Oh, okay. Fine. It's a nice fair. I mean, there are quite a lot of stalls going on. There's like fabrics and fruit. I suppose, yeah, there is a sort of carnival sort of tent type thing over there. There's some armor over there. There's another food thing there. Um, Okay, yeah, he's confusing me a bit because he looks really angry, but he seems to be quite nice. He's like, yay, yeah, have a lovely day, have a great time. But he looks furious while saying it. Okay, fine. Looks like it's time for us to head home. Close the stall. We have only just opened for other Batoki Doke. Closing the stall tells your customers that no new orders are accepted, but those who are waiting for their order will stay. Okie doke, press the sign. Okay, right, got it. Let's go, son. Okie doke, let us go. Father, what do you think about me and Olivia? Can we be friends? Oh, okay, right. I see where this is going. We are just not their equal, son. But in a merchant's family, a groom is judged by how fat his purse is. Cheer up. Everything is in your hands. Okay, so basically you're saying make a load of money and then you can go and impress Olivia. Okay, right, fine. My father's words were no surprise to me. Inequality is both the scourge and the foundation of our society. However, the sincere smile and charming eyes of the merchant's daughter made my heart ache. Okay, we seem to have grown up a bit. Are we moving through time here? The fair was coming to an end, so we gathered our belongings and set off home. It was the last fair I got to visit with my father. Okay, right, I see what's happening. The disease hit him hard, but even to his last breath, he did his best to transfer his knowledge and skills to me, even when he could barely hold a hammer in his trembling hands. I had no choice but to make my father proud and become a decent apprentice. I mean, you certainly got his nose, that's good. Okay, so now we have a small house and a forge at our disposal. It's not much, but still better than starting from scratch. Okay, right, hang on a second. So we have ourselves, here it is. This is our little sort of, this is our wonderful little blacksmith place. This is where your road to glory, wealth and heart of your beloved girl begins, okay? But all this lies far ahead. And for now, kindle the forge. Time to put the dust off my father's hammer. Let's see what I can still remember. Okay, right. So hang on a second, hang on. Very important. Is spacebar pause? Spacebar is pause. Well done, game. Good job. So what exactly are we starting with? We're starting with six bits of ore. We've got 10 ingots. We've got no, no wood at all. Uh, we've got 200 coins. That's quite good. And we have no popularity, I guess, because we have only just started. And then there's a number of things over here. I guess these are different factions. This is our sort of popularity with different groups or whatever. Okay, and our objective, ah, right, okay. Again, demo version, so not complete. It's not been translated. So I'm not entirely sure what that is. I'm going to guess, I'm going to guess it means complete five jobs. That's what I'm going to guess. Um, okay, let's, let's unpause. Let's, yeah, unpause. And let's come over here. Let's do some, let's do some sort of uh, early morning smelting. Let's get all this ore turned into lovely ingots then we can use them when we open up the shop. Okay, and there's stuff going on in the background. Look, there's sort of a, a flag there, clearly French, like a fleur-de-lis, and there's people wandering about. And there's our house here. So we've got ourselves, what's that, a bed, a table and chair, another table and chair, little storage thing, a sort of pot over there. And then, yeah, some chickens. Have we got chickens? Oh, that's very exciting. Okay, right, hang on. How are we doing? Possibly should pay attention. Okay. So now we have no ore left. I assume we go and buy some from you know, a miner or something. Um, and we have 16 ingots. So how about we open up the shop? 
So we're open. And now I imagine people are going to come by. We have all sorts of stats. We've got uh, hit points. We have energy. We have satiation. Ah, so we need to eat. We've got various sort of skills in things. Okay, this person here would like a horseshoe. Oh, cracky. Time is ticking down now. Three ingots are going to give seven money. Absolutely. Why does it take so long? I've only just started that moment. Hang on a second, you impatient person. Okay, right, there we go. They're happy, very good. This person wants some sort of uh, chain link type thing. Okie doke, we've got the, the ingots for that. That'll be done in plenty of time as well. That'll be done absolutely loads of time. I do like how there's stuff happening in the background. Your character has received a new trait. Characters can receive negative and positive traits. Each affects the character's behavior in a different way. Okay, so we have ourselves a new trait. Ah, bother. Okay. <laughs> I can't read what it says, but I'm sure it's brilliant. It says 15%, so that's got to be good. 15% better at doing something. Are we 15% quicker at making things? And that looks like, hang on, come out of that. Carefully read the trait descriptions and pick the best assignment for each worker. Okay, that's not going to help too much. Um, Hang on, pause time for a second. So that looks like a sort of a graduation hat. So I imagine that's making us a bit cleverer. And that, I can't quite work out what that is. It looks like an iron ingot and then and then something above it. I don't know. But we're doing something 15% better or 15% more efficiently. And it seems, if we just take a look at this, it seems that we are on fire. I think we're just leveling up, are we? There we go. Fancy level up going on. Okay, right. Here comes another person. Hello. Yeah, there we go. We're completing orders. You want whatever that is, don't know what that is, letter opener or something, not entirely sure. Okay, over here, hit things with a hammer, that's all good. I mean, yeah, really, really we could do with speeding this up a little bit. That would be wonderful. If we could do that quicker, that would be nice. There's that guy's twin brother coming in. You want a padlock. Okay, we do only have six ingots left. Oh, he's playing, he's, <laughs> he's broken out Wonderwall. <laughs> he's playing Wonderwall and he's loot. Um, Okay, hang on a second. Oh, botherations. I was trying to pause it and it's gone away. It said, I'm running out of ingots. Something, something, something. And now I don't know what to do because <laughs> I pressed space, but it got rid of the thing rather than pausing the game. Um, Right, hang on. What does this chappy want and can we help? Right, we can't help you, I'm afraid. We're going to have to reject your order because we don't have three ingots. So I'm really sorry. Uh, good playing though. And let's close the shop. And now... We need to figure out what we do. Now, unfortunately, yes, we didn't see the thing there. We didn't see the, the message. So I don't know what we're supposed to do. Can you go and sit in a chair? That sounds nice. Go and sit in a chair. I mean, we are a little bit, we're a little tiny bit hungry. I assume we go over there to eat. I'm guessing this is where we go to get some food, possibly, because there's like a cooking pot type thing. So if we go there, ah, he's getting something from the shelf and then he's cooking it over there on the stove or whatever it is over on the cooking pot. Oh, and the candles have come on. Okay, this is good. The only thing is, I don't know what to do. How do we get more of these? <laughs> How do we get more ore, do you suppose? Right, okay. Now eat that. There we go. So we're going to sit and have some food and that will top that back up. And then I guess that's a bed of sorts. So I'm going to go to sleep and then we wake up. Our energy will be back up at the top. Okay, this is good. This is good. The only thing is, I'm not wholly sure what we do now. We've got no food, it seems. There's no food in the cabinet. Buy some cooking supplies. There we go. We've done the regenerating thing again. Um, this employee is full. His energy decreases one and a half times slower. Duration, 110 seconds. Okay. Now, the only thing is, I don't know what to do now. Uh, open faction skill book. Okay. This is, this is nice. So we've got factions. We have... Uh, I assume that's France. I'm going to assume that's England. They're, I don't know who they are, baddies, like, you know, barbarians or whatever, rogue people. No idea what that is. Wizards and, I don't know, fairies or elves or something. I don't know. I've got no idea. Um, how do we get out of this? Away, away with that book. Um, right. Okay. I mean, there are a number of things down here. Do we construct things? We have got 236 monies. That allows us to buy equipment. Ah, and consumables. Food. Food, food, food might be useful. A crate of ingots. Ingots are used to craft weapons, armor, and tools on the anvil. Okay, is that what we're supposed to do? Buy a crate of these. Um, a crate of ore. And a big crate of ore. How much is that? 20 ore for 35 monies. Uh, yeah, okay, let's do that. 
Can we buy that? So we'll have one of those. That's what we must do. Equipment for workers. Uh, miner's bag. That helps us protect against thieves. Okay, right, thieves. Um, yeah, we'll buy some food, I think. And then there seems to be skill books. Buy bookshelves. Okay, right, hang on. Can we buy ourselves um, three lots of food as well? Let's do that. So buy all that stuff. So when, hang on, if we unpause, do we... Does that stuff get delivered? Ah, there you go. The courier is busy now. Wait for him to return. Okay. <laughs> is that the courier? I don't know. It seems like they might be at our house. Yeah, look here. Hello. Hi. Can we have all the shiny things, please? Because we can't you know, do our jobs at the minute. Hello. How do we move? We can only seem to move between things. We can't just go and stand in the middle of nowhere. We have to move between things. Where are you going? Oh, okay. Right. There you go. I'm running out of ore again. Time to dig a shaft. Oh, are we supposed... To, oh, okay. Are we supposed to mine? Is that what we're supposed to do? Sooner or later, you'll start expanding your forge, building more rooms, and even digging deep into the earth. Each forge needs constant supply of ore. You can purchase it from the trader. Yep, okay. But it's much more efficient to mine it yourself. Let's dig a shaft right in our cellar. To expand and upgrade the forge, open the construction menu. Hotkey Q. Right, that one there. Okay. This is the construction menu, everybody. We've now got blueprints. Ye olde medieval blueprints. Um, furnish the room. Buy new furniture. Change the room design to increase fame. <gasps> that sounds exciting. Um, that looks like adding a new room. That looks like adding. That's removing. Again, the translation is on that, but I guess it's adding a new room. Ah, right. Okay, this seems obvious. Build a room. 100. Roof type. Yeah, that. And wall type. Brilliant. Both of those, yes, aces. Um, each room's construction takes some time. You'll have to wait for the builder to finish their work. Okay, right, so a builder's going to pop by as well. Okay, well, how about we go over here and we start making some of the lovely ingots because we need those to do our job. Okay, so there we go. Oh, there's... Are you the builder? Are you the builder? Down you go. Buildy build, my good sir. I think we should possibly go to sleep at some point because the moon... That, that's the moon, very clearly. The moon is out. But this is good. We are getting quite a lot of ingots back in, which is useful. So I think maybe we'll wait for him to maybe finish his job. And if we just keep going until he's done, maybe we can get up to, say, 10 or so of those. That would be good. Can't see what you're doing down here. Which does make me think that you're making a big deal of this. It makes me think that you're... Yeah, this is an easy job, but you've covered it up to make yourself look busy, Mr. Builder Person. Uh, okay, how are we doing? 11 ingots. Excellent. Now choose the type of your new, route, your new room. Each room has its own function and requires specific furniture. A room that doesn't have furniture or the required furniture, or function, sorry, or furniture, will remain inactive. Okay, so that's saying that's inactive. Press the exclamation mark to choose a room type or by furniture, depending on what the room lacks, before it can become operational. Okay, so choose the room type. Well, this is supposed to be a mine, isn't it? So, yeah, a mine. Allows you to pick or to make ingots. Okay. Yes, we'll do that. But yeah, there's a storeroom and there's various other bits. There's a living room and a kitchen. There's training areas. But yeah, this is a mine. Okay. So that's a mine. And now... Oh, there you go. Requirements. It needs... It needs a basement. The mine needs a basement. Um, okay. <laughs> How does this work? Um, right, hang on. It's not one of those. It's not a chair. Uh, what's that? That's just That's just a table. Uh, hang on, this needed a crate, it said, I think. Uh, a small cupboard. A modest cupboard. <gasps> oh, can we have can we have even bigger cupboards? I love a cupboard. A cupboard full of geeks. Um don't know what that is. Hang on, what did we hang on, that come out of that. What did we need? Basement and a crate. I mean that looks like a crate. Um it's 30 coins. And a basement. What exactly is that? A workbench? Is it that? A cooking furnace? A, ah, a basement. Allows your workers to pick ore. Okay, yeah. Let's put that in just there. So there we go. We now have a ladder going down under the ground and then another another ladder going down even further under the ground. I'm going to kind of pin my hopes on that being some sort of some sort of storage thing. Just because we have one there. Just because we have one right next to our forge setup. So let's put that just there. Is that the right thing? Yes. There we go. Okay. So now, can we just... Can we carry on doing what we're doing? Um, yeah, let's wait until... Oh, 
Hang on. A thing has happened. Rainfall that was initially modest has turned into a downpour. The roads were washed away. Oh, dearie me. Buying consumables is forbidden during this event. Price for wood is higher. Order prices are higher. Clients come less often. Hunters and merchants come less often. Okay, yeah, because there's no roads and it's miserable. Okay, and down comes the rain. Oh, dearie me. Okay, right. This is all very miserable. I think what we might do is, I'm assuming that's our bed. So let's just go over and have a little sleep in the bed. Keep an eye on your character's energy. Okay, so if that's too low, they're going to make mistakes and damage things. Okay, send your workers to sleep so they can regain energy. The more comfortable the bed, the faster the character rests. And that does not look like the most comfortable of beds, but it will do. Okay, so hang on. So we can put time on nice and quick. So there we go. So that can speed. Hang on, is it three and four? Yeah, so four is fast. Two is normal. One, oh, one is also pause. Intriguing. Okay, so let's just get you rested. Let's get you all nice and rested. There we go. And we have a shelf full of lovely food. Okay, so you're going to spring back up. There we go. Right. So now, do we open up? Let's open up the shop. Let's just head out to the front, shall we? And just see if we can attract any custom whatsoever. Is anyone going to come by? Anyone at all? Ah, this brave soul. Hello. Good hat. Uh, right. What would you like? You want one of those things. You're willing to pay quite a lot for it. That's good. Okay, so come out here. Hit it, hit with hammer. Everything will be sorted. There we go. Lots of hitting with hammers. Um, you know, it's a, it's a miserable rainy day. That's fine. And over you go. Splendid. Um, let's keep doing this, actually. Let's do this. If we can get just one more done. If we can try and get up to maximum amount. Um, yeah, okay. We can do that for you. Um... Whoa, where does all of this where does all of this water is kept in the sky? Okay. <laughs> clouds. That's that's where it is, medieval peasanty person. Clouds. That that's the way of things. Okay. And okay, there are still plenty of people coming by. We haven't got a mission anymore. We've not got a little goal thing, so I guess we're now just on our own, just, you know, working things out and making the monies. That's fine. That's okay. We can deal with that. But yeah, there we go. So it's summer heavy rain. Oh, okay. <laughs> Happy summer, everyone. Here comes another person. Hello. Are we doing to get some more ingots back? I don't even know what they are, but okay, we'll make you some of whatever those things are. Absolutely fine. You're welcome. I'm, I'm no idea. Pointy metal things. Um, right, okay. So they're done. Immediately go over here. Just try and make at least another one ingot, possibly. If we can just get one more in, that would be really good. Right, you want horseshoes. Let's get another one of those in. Hang on. Right, there we go. So we've got 10 of those. We're down to one ore already. Right, after you're done, we might have to shut up the shop. Right, hang on. Shut the shop. So nobody else is coming in. It's a hard oh, it's hard to work in the forge alone. The village chief has sent you three young men who want to become your apprentices. Okay, intriguing. Uh, this young man is new to the village and he came from Gascony. Okay, I'm not entirely sure whereabouts Gascony is in France, but okay, that's nice. Uh, my name is Theris, Master Blacksmith, okay? Monty is the local trickster and rascal. He tries to look like a nobleman in everything he does. He does not look like a nobleman. <laughs> he he looks like he has been dragged through a hedge backwards and found a monocle whilst that was happening. My name is Monty, sir. I've wanted to become your apprentice for ages, if you will have me. And this is Stone, winner of all the fights and wrestling contests in the village. I can do all sorts of things and I'm as strong as an ox. I'm sure I'll be useful. So which of them is worthy of becoming your apprentice? Oh, it's another decision. So, right, I don't know what these things do. Um, right, okay, not entirely sure what those things are doing, but okay. Um, Terrace comes from southern France. His parents are French, so it's no surprise that he sympathises with his fellow countrymen. But he'll follow my lead. I'm his master after all. So I think that says that we'll get quite a bit of opinion with the French, but not so many with the English, I think. I think that's what that's saying. Uh, Monty, we're going to lose opinion with both the English and the French, but gain opinion with whatever that is, the rapscallions. I've heard that Monty's a bit of a shady character quite a few times, but no one had ever caught him stealing. However, word of his cunning has spread far and wide, so he can be very useful. Or Stone, people don't have much to say about Stone. He's not one for words either, but he's carelessly proven his craft, uh, countlessly, sorry, not carelessly, countlessly proven his craftsmanship and boasts the strength of five men. So, yeah, that means that we lose opinion with France, but we gain opinion with England. Um, I quite like this guy. I quite like him. I don't like Monty. 
he seems like he might be more trouble than it's worth. Stone is a bit fighty. I mean, maybe you're, you know, you should be out on a battlefield, possibly. He's just sort of rocked up. He's just rocked up. He's trying to find his place in the world. And I like that. So we'll go for Terrace. Yeah, okay, you. France demands that you pay 12 coins as a land tax. What is your decision? Uh, yes, okay. Viva la France. Okay, that's fine. Uh, right, how do we go and dig down here then? Do we literally just right click on this? Do we do that? And where's our new work person? Where's, where's the new guy? And how do we like sort that out as well? How do we pick between the people? Right, so if you go down here, you've appeared down here. Ah, so you're now grabbing iron ore. Well, not whatever, whatever ore, any ores, any ore down there at all. Any ore will do. So you're going to grab that. How many do you get? One goes up to, oh, hang on. He's got to put it in a bag. So one goes up to three. Crikey. Okay, this could take quite a long time. This is a, a long, laborious process. We could do it with our new person. We could do it with the new guy, I would have said. That would have been useful. So then he could be down there while I'm over here doing forge stuff. But um, but no, he's not here yet. Unless that's him peering in through the window. <laughs> Hello, sir. <laughs> Can I help you with something? Maybe you could, you know, look away. This is my bedroom after all. There you go. Thank you very much. Don't go to this window. I see you, sir. Hang on a minute. Where are you? Yeah, okay. Going past this window. And there you go. Yeah, we're on to you. Walk away. You walk away. Oh, no, he's, still, he's hanging around. He's hanging, Oh, no, he set his brother on us. Um, okay, so we're still down here. So what we'll do is we will get these final bits out of here. This is fine. We'll put them in there and then we'll go back up to the surface and we'll turn those into lovely ingots. So, okay, let's go back over here. And then we might need food. We might need to actually get something to eat and then possibly have a little sit down as well. And um, yeah, I don't know where the new guy is. Maybe, do we need to build him a bed? Does he need his own bed or something? I'm not entirely sure. What's that doing? Turn off auto mode. Did I turn on auto mode? I must have done. Okay, that's fine. You just keep doing that then. Um, yeah, maybe we need to get him a new bed or something. Possibly that's what we need to do. Right, hang on a minute. Um, where's the build menu gone? Where, how do we get to the build menu? <laughs> um, okay, hang on. If we press escape, does that bring the build menu up? No. Build menu, where have you gone? Thou hath forsaken me. Okay, I don't know where the build menu is. We'll just carry on going. I'm sure the new guy will turn up at some point. There we go. We have 19 ingots. Maybe the new guy is in here because the shop is shut. Maybe that's the problem. So now the shop is open. Maybe new guy, who I've forgotten the name of, Terrace, was it? He'll, um, he'll turn up. Now we're actually open. But yeah, I haven't got the build menu anymore. I do not have the build menu. So I can't build stuff. Um, You would like... Uh, key or whatever that thing is i don't really know but yeah okay we can get on that that's absolutely fine let me just hit things with the hammer because i'm a blacksmith that's what to do very good at it okay so hit it he hit somebody very similar in appearance coming up uh just give me a couple of days um okay ah right he's not going to be able to pay do you know what i, I trust you the boots are soaked yeah on account of the rain i assume sir right okay so hit it he hit Maybe the new guy turns up on the next day. Maybe that's what happens. Okay, you would like a padlock. Right, you are on it. Uh, so yeah, we're down to 12 ingots already. Yeah, we could do with the new guy. It'd be really handy if he was down there doing all that stuff. And then we could just be up here doing all this stuff over here. Because now we might have shut up shop yet again. Um, can we see what time of day it is? I mean, obviously you can look at the sky, but yo, can, is there a specific time of day anywhere i don't think there is you want to chain thingamajig okie doke the boots are soaked yep indeed on account of the rain that's what water will do that's how it works okay so you want one of those weird things i don't know what they are but okay you can have a weird thing for four of those so okay and then we need to shut up the shop to stop people coming by however this guy oh oh hang on i thought they waited I thought when the shop was shut, people waited. Oh, no, I think he did. He got his order in. <laughs> and now we have one ingot. Okay, right. How about we go down here? Let's go down here. Let's just uh, go down here. We'll grab a few. Yeah, it's getting dark. That's good. So, um, oh, ah, did that guy just pay up? Oh, that was good. That guy paid up. 
that we made the whatever it was the padlock for or whatever it was is actually paid up oh that's very good well done that's very very honest and noble of you right if we just grab a few of these grab one let's grab a couple actually grab two more lots of these things that's one chuck it into a box just to get us over 10 just because that seems like a nice amount so there we go put it in the box over 10 right hang on a minute hang on then go to in fact no go and get some food get some food i think might be a good idea go and cook some stuff might be a sensible idea right and then i'm imagining tomorrow we're gonna wake up and we're gonna have the new guy he's gonna be here oh build bedrooms it says there um okay hang on eat the food then <laughs> put it on the table and look at it um hang on hang on hang on uh it says there summer a quiet place Either the war has moved far from the region, or due to some of the blessing, the village enjoys some peace and quiet. Right, so we've had some food. I think we now go and have a lie down, and then hope that when we wake up, we are joined by new guy who's going to get here you know, in the morning. Let's you know, hope that happens. Fingers crossed, everybody. Okay, so we've had a nice sleep. We've woken up. Something weird is going on over here. We've kind of got this, I assume he's like a trader. This trader has kind of replicated himself across the screen and has made everything else grind to a halt. Um, however, he would like 150 coins, I think, to buy some of this stuff. It looks like he's selling horseshoes and then chains and then whatever they are, like nails or something. So, you know, when people come in and ask for those, we have a stock of those and we can just give them straight out. Um, but we can't afford it. So, no, thank you. You can't reject this order. Uh, really? We'll try. Go away with you. Okay, right. We have we have to say yes. We have to accept the order from Magic Multi Merchant. Smith Five Nails. Um, okay, hang on. Oh, dear me. I think Magic Multi Merchant has caused some issues going on there. Oh, botherations. Okay, right. Hang on. Hang on, maybe this will sort itself out. Oh, possibly it won't. Okay, so yes, I will admit the game did have a little bit of a wobble. I will not lie. And then when we came back to it, it had another little bit of a wobble. So what I've done is I kind of thought, okay, we need to change something here. So rather than picking Ferris as our assistant, apprentice, whatever, the person who we'd actually like to choose, I've actually chosen someone else. And that seems to have moved the game on a little bit. So we've chosen stone. I didn't particularly want stone, but whatever the case, we've picked stone and now things have moved on a little bit. So now we have ourselves a French taxman over here. Hello, French taxman. You're a smith, right? In the name of his majesty, the Dauphin of France, I'm authorised to collect the land tax for the good of our country. Okay, that's probably fine. Um, all of you just prey on honest people, no matter what you call yourselves. Are you paying or not? Right, so this thing has popped up before. We didn't get that little sort of chatty bit there. So, okay, yes. And now we can see down here. Oh, hang on a minute. Right, hang on a second. There we go. There's stone. So yeah, there we go. So this is what it looks like when, you know, we do get another person. Yeah, it's, it's a shame it's not the one we wanted. But never mind, never mind. It's stone. That's funny. He has a wonderful moustache and massive eyebrows. Look at those. They're huge. They're spectacular. Okay, right. So let's just get this stuff done here. So send stone to smithy orders on the anvil. Oh, okay, right. Hang on a minute. Right, stone. Can you work over there? Oh, crikey. The forges workers will demand to be paid to continue work. A refusal will upset them, and if their mood drops further, the apprentice will leave the forge. If you want to get rid of a worker, you can just fire them. Okay, right, so let's take that off of auto doing. Right, you, so this is us, so Arthur, you go and get some food because you're a bit hungry. And then Stone, you accept that, and then we'll come over here and Stone, you can work on this, please. You can do the hitty with the hammers. Very good, right, and we'll accept that as well. Um, yep, the boots are soaked again. That's what the rain will do. So we're making a spot of food over here. So then when we've done that, we will send Arthur down here to just get some more oil. In fact, Arthur could go over here, couldn't he? Arthur could go over there. That would be useful. Um, right now, yeah, hang on. Does Arthur need to eat? Yeah, Arthur is very hungry. So Arthur, you go and have some food. Uh, and then Stone. Um, what do we need? Three of those. Yes, yeah, so accept that. Yes. How are you doing over there, Arthur? Have you nearly finished? We could do with turning this ore into useful ingots because we haven't got many of those left. Um, yeah, we're going to struggle with this. Right, hang on a second. We'll close the shop. Sorry, sorry about that. Right, so you go over there and you go down here. There we go. Look, we've got ourselves a little team going on now. Wonderful stuff. 
Right, and again, it's only day two, so on day three, we might still see the magic multiplying merchant. I do not know. I'm not entirely sure. But uh, yes, we'll see what happens. But at least we have two people. At least we do have two people now working over here, which is wonderful. I do like this. Right, so we're getting ourselves lots of the ingots. You're grabbing some out of the very earth itself, which is wonderful. So here we go. So th this works really well. With two people, this is a lot easier. This is wonderful stuff. Right, so there we go. So get this done. You need to complete two more orders. But now we're looking pretty good. So you can just keep grabbing the, grabbing the ore out of the ground. That's fine. We'll open up the shop. And then Stone can do two more orders because people will still keep coming by. There we go. You can order those things, which we're not really sure what they are. The pointy things. There we go. And you want a chain thingamajig. Absolutely. Everything is wet. Yep, so is the chain. It's fine. There we go. Everyone seems to be talking about the war. Like they've got nothing better to do. Oh, crikey. He's back with his loot. Um, more than anything, I hope the war doesn't reach this place. Or both of us will end up doing hard labour instead of hard work. Okay, right. Yes, we'll have that then. This is all very good. So now what's our next goal? What is the next goal? Hello, madam. How are you? Yep, the roof off is leaking. Absolutely, yep. At the higher Forger's prestige, the more appealing it will look to rich clients. By increasing your Forger's prestige and upgrading the stall, you can attract money bags who are willing to pay much more for their order than peasants. In addition, stall upgrades will increase your maximum workshop storage space for wood and ingots. Prestige is increased when you complete orders, but it does have an upper limit. Upgrade the house decorations to increase your prestige limit. Okay, with a store like this, you can only expect bumpkins. Oh, come on now, be nice. Time to change this ramshackle shed for something more respectable. To upgrade your stall, open the room construction menu and press the stall upgrade button. Right, hang on a minute, hang on. Can you go and work on that? Sort this out first, and then we'll sort out the prestige upgrade thingamajig. There you go. Right, so do that, hit to hit, right, shut the shop, there we go. Um, so it was in here, wasn't it? So construction menu, and then there. Change the room design to increase fame. Was that it? Hang on, there was a stall upgrade as well. Buy new furniture, furnish the room, choose the room type. Oh, where, <laughs> where was it? Hang on, what can we do with the roof? A wooden roof. Oh, we can change it to a fancy wooden roof for 60 of our monies which gives us three fame. Okay, what if we do that then? Yay, we have ourselves a slightly wooden bit of roof. Um, okay, furnish the room, buy new furniture, um, choose the room type. We can do, ah, upgrade the stall is 150 coins and we need 20 fame. Okay, right, message understood. We can't quite do that yet then. <laughs> we need to complete some more orders. Um, Right, go over here, you do that, and you, you're a bit tired actually, you should probably have a little rest. Have a little rest, it's all fine, you go to bed, and um, Stone out here, Stone can just, you know, smelt away to his heart's content. Okay, so we're here saying, I've never seen this merchant in our village before. Now is this what's supposed to happen with the magic multiplying merchant? But you know, it's actually worked this time, because we have ourselves an employee and everything sort of worked properly. Okay, Stone, go and find out who he is and what he wants. Okay, so Stone runs out. Don't punch them, Stone. I know you like a bit of a fight. Hey, big guy, call the owner. I didn't come here all the way from uh, Languedoc to talk to an apprentice. Oi, merchant. Oi, what, watch your tongue there. Hurry up, you oaf. Oi, they, they, you can't go around calling my people oafs. That's not fair. Um, how um, Have you come from afar? How can I help? I came from the south and I'm setting up some trade links. I can bring you whatever you want for the best price from Damascus steel to precision instruments. Want to work together. That might be good. Don't even think of refusing. I barely escaped the bandits myself. Ah, right. Now that would tie in with us trying to refuse that offer and it saying no. And the roads are unsafe. The thieves and bandits gather like vultures where armies have passed recently. You should agree as I'm the bravest merchant of those prepared to offer their services to you. All right there. Bandits are all we need right now. If we're talking about business, would you be so kind as to take an order from me? What should I make for you? Have you heard? They're coming, said the headman. Who's coming? Well, there are refugees coming down the road with their stuff rattling about. Many of them will want to stay here, some at the inn and some as household workers, and others will just sleep in the open. They've got nowhere to go as their houses are flooded. I hope they won't bring any disease here. <laughs> Not, oh my goodness me, those poor people. It's like, no, no, oh dear me, diseases. Stop talking such rot. Okay, 
Driven by nature's vagaries, refugees from nearby villages have arrived. They loiter around, beg for coin, and draw the ire of the locals. Do nothing. We lose opinion of both France and England, I assume. Seek help from France. We are quite pally with the French. So, yeah, the French should take care of their subjects. Otherwise, who will work the fields? Or seek help from England. The English may seek the reputation of this village's saviours. I will ask them. I mean, we're quite friendly with the French. Say so, yes, okay, right, there we go. The French are rather enterprising people. I write a letter to the local baron. He'll be sure, be, uh, he'll be sure to be interested in taking several craftsmen into his service. That's where my services will come in useful. They're bound to need something to work with. Okay, right, so we'll accept that offer. There we go, that's better. Right, hang on a second, what were we doing? Um, Arthur, you seem okay. You seem okay, right, you go over... Oh, crikey, <laughs> you go over and man the shop. You go over and do that. Um, We've got nobody with the right skills to do that, and Implume must know that, so we can't do that, so sorry, but bye now. Oh, it was a witch. It was a witch, look, she's got a pointy witch hat, <gasps> and there's some sort of hunter-type person. Um, oh, crikey's make that thing. You're going to run out of time. That's not good. We can't do that. Yeah, you're going to run out of time. That's unfortunate. Um, Stone is exhausted. So Stone needs to go and just have a rest. Stone needs to go and have a sit down. Oh, crikey. We received a report that you wanted to work for the glory of the crown, said the soldier. Here's the list of wares we need. Make sure you do your best. We will need to restore and reinforce the dam or the thing will burst and we'll all be in trouble. Five chains, ten box of nails and five horseshoes. As soon as the order is complete, tell the messenger and I'll deliver it to the headquarters. Crikeys. Okay, right. Um, I'm sorry, I'm going to have to turn all these orders away because we have important jobs to do for the crown and a merchant and everybody else. Um, yeah, okay. Do this then. So we'll get that done. Stone can have a rest and then Arthur can get back to doing, you know, what he does best. I don't know what he's doing there though. Okay, you're being a bit strange. Um, right, hang on. Let's just, let's just get the stuff for the merchant done. Where's the merchant stuff? We've made one horseshoe. Just, just, yeah, chop, chop. Come on, let's just get this done. There we go. Make many, many horseshoes, please. And now you're finished doing that. So you, oh, right, hang on. Now go over here. Oh, crack is right, okay. <laughs> I see, I see where the management bit of this is coming in. Right, now you go down to here and you do some mining for ores because that's going to be useful. And in the meantime, when Stone wakes up, Stone's going to need food because he's going to be a little bit hungry. So there you go. Right, Stone, you go get some food. And then when we're all back up and running and everyone's rested and fed, we can get back to, you know, making stuff out of metal because that's what we're good at. So let's get Stone making the merchant's chains because the merchant wants quite a lot of chains. So we'll get you working on those. But yeah, we are flying through the ingots. We're absolutely burning through these. My goodness me, it's a good job we have two people. This would be very back and forth. Okay, right. So how are you doing, Arthur? Arthur's fine. Stone seems to be fine. Right, so we've got seven. Yeah, so if you get those last few done, let's get up to 10 ingots again. There we go. Right, and then work on the chains. So how much is it per chain? Crikey's, I think we're okay. Right, so we should be able to finish the chains, I think. No, absolutely not. We're down to zero. Okay. <laughs> right, hang on a minute. Let's get some more ingots. How are you doing, Arthur? Oh, Arthur's really, really hungry and tired. Right, Arthur. Oh, hang on. No, no, drop those things off, Arthur. Drop the things off and then go and have a rest. You're allowed to have a sleep. Workers need to be fed regularly. Yes, a hungry worker will make mistakes. Yep, 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 gotcha, absolutely, yes, yes, yes. Right, hang on a minute. So is it you that's hungry, Stone? No, so it is Arthur. So Arthur's hungry and tired. Okay, that seems to be fair. Um, okay, right, let's work our way through all of these. Uh, there we go, so we've got a few more iron ores to, I keep saying iron ore, ores, just generic metal ores to melt down. There we go, and then we can go to here. Then we can go to, go to here. Stone, oh no, hang on. No, we need to be stone. Go to go to there. Do why can't you do any smelting stone? <laughs> stone, are you okay, Stone? Do do you need to have a lie down or something? Hang on. Worker's salary is paid. Oh, there we go. Right, he's decided he wants to do something again now. Thank you for the great work. It's nice to do business. Okay, right. So we got paid some money, which is lovely. Now we're making box of nails, I think, for the French you know army or whatever it was. Okay, right. Hang on a minute. Um, hang on, where's, where's Arthur? Um, oh, Arthur's come over here. Oh, Arthur, right, you need, you need to eat, my good sir. You go get some food, and then, Stone, you might have to go down the mine, I'm afraid. Sorry, but, you know, you need to go and get digging. Oh, hang on. Boys, I think I'm ill. I need some bed rest for a couple of days. You'll have to take care of everything. Oh, no, we don't look very well. <laughs> We've gone all pale and funny looking. I hope that everything will be fine, but this cold has really grabbed onto me hard. 
So this apprentice, who we don't have, says, have faith in his master. We'll somehow fix everything we break, if anything. Who, who's this person? Who are you? <laughs> this is an apprentice that we just don't have. Okay, fine. So he's gone off to bed where he's just going to sleep for ages. Okay, right. Stone. No pressure, but everything is down to you. You know, the fate of the nation of France is in your hands. Can you make enough chains and nails? Who knows? Okay, I'm foreseeing a little bit of a problem because Stone is getting tired. He's doing lots of very hard work down here in a big hole in the ground, digging up lots of ores. So he's also getting a little bit worn out. Food is fine. He can go and have some food. That's all good. But in terms of tiredness, he's going to get worn out. But he can't go to bed because we only have one bed and currently Arthur is in it. So I think what we might need to do is we might need to build ourselves a new bed. So buy new furniture. Okay, can we put it in this room, please? So 50, a squeaky wooden bed. It's better than sleeping on the floor. So comfort level of one. Ah, okay. Yeah, that seems sensible. Oh, bother. Okay, it doesn't fit. Okay, right. It doesn't fit in that room. Okay, hang on. <laughs> can we put it in this room, please? A bed. That's a, that's the door. Um, right, we can't put a bed anywhere, it seems. Why is there, why is there a shadow of a door just there? There's no door just there. That's where the door opens. Oh, crikey, how thin are these rooms? Um, right. Okay, can we get rid of some things? Can we sell some things? Change the room structure. We kind of want to get rid of this thing here and put a bed in. Hang on, can we put a bed underground? Can we put a bed under the ground? No, we can't. <laughs> okay, right, so this is going to be an issue. So he's going to collapse at some point unless Chappie here actually recovers. Or can we buy just a, a rubbish bed? Can we put a rubbish bed in here? Are they small enough to fit in? No. Oh, botherations. Okay, okay, fine. But it is the way of things. Can we put one underground? Is that what we can do? Can we put a rubbishy bed underground? No, we cannot. Okay, we're just going to have to muddle through. We're going to have to muddle through and just see how we get on with this particular little problem. I mean, hopefully... Hopefully Arthur will recover by the time Stone is completely dead on his feet, but yeah, we'll see. Time will tell. Oh, okay. I think the demo has just ended. I think we got to whatever the end point of the demo was. I mean, Stone was just there, almost dead on his feet. He was completely exhausted, working away on the anvil. And then a little message popped up in the bottom, which was in this language here, which I unfortunately cannot read. So I didn't know what it said. So I just skipped through it going, I don't know what it means. Right, I'll just clickety click. And then, yeah, it came to this screen. So I assume the message said, you've reached the end of the demo because you've got to the end of three days or you've got another worker or whatever. I don't know what the end conditions were. But there we go. So the demo is done. I mean, that's an interesting game. It's a shame that there were a few little bugs along the way. But, you know, that's the point of a demo. They kind of get the feedback and they work on them. But, uh, you know, bar the bugs, ignoring the bugs. I quite enjoyed that. That was really nice. I think that's got a lot of potential. If they can, you know, get the bugs sort it out that's going to be quite an interesting game because you do have the whole sort of the whole management of the shop kind of thing yeah you've got your people turning up and they want this and that and the other and you have to make sure you deliver it on time you need to make sure you've got the right resources and all that kind of stuff but then also there's the world going on i like that there's factions and we saw the random stories coming up and you know that one there near the end which said you know there's all these people that you know their homes have been washed away what do you want to do with them do you want to you know call these people for help or ignore them or whatever you know it kind of feels like there is a world going on around you you're not just sort of going right i'm a blacksmith i'm making stuff that is it you know stuff is happening to you you're being dragged into these world events with floods and wars and all that kind of stuff which i do quite like so there we go we've come to the end of the demo um so yeah arthur there i mean we saw him a little bit ill at the end of our little playthrough but uh but yeah he seems fine now look at him there he's holding up a very shiny sword indeed and he looks very proud of himself so well done arthur good job so uh, yeah there we go we've come to the end of the demo and we just need to wrap things up i suppose so hopefully you did enjoy this if you did please do leave a like that would be most marvelous indeed and also if you're not already then please do subscribe to keep up today with all the other bits and bobs that we get up to in the geek cupboard but for now thank Thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard and I will see you next time. They've ripped my arms off, ripped my legs off. I mean, you know, unfortunately they didn't rip anything else off. Yes, I'm off my face on mushrooms. Why, Lady Charlotte, I, uh, I would certainly love to taste your cake. The King of the West is an idiot. I am off my face on mushrooms. I mean, asking me questions isn't going to be my strong point at the minute.